Hello, buddy. Princess Nebera here. We're back today. We're doing another food video. We are on an adventure. An adventure. So, instead of a Disney food video today. Do, do, do. So, yeah, Beyond Meat has some new breakfast sausages. So, classic and spicy. We um, were able to try their sausages in the Duncan video. Yep. But now it's available for the consumer. Yep. Also, just released some folded eggs. So, we're going to cook them together for breakfast. Yeah, we're going to try out some Duncan style at home sandwiches made with all plant based stuff, and uh, we're going to see how it turns out. So, uh, we're going to go try this out. Hopefully, again, as usual, we don't poison ourselves, and we will see you soon. Be sure to, anything goes. You heard the girl. Everybody, so we're back with our just egg and the new Beyond Meat sausage breakfast sandwiches. On a whole wheat egg or oh, whole meat English muffin. I was gonna say egg McMuffin because well, that's what most people. Is that what that. this is? An egg McMuffin? I mean, basically, egg meat substitute and muffin. All an egg muffin okay. is an English muffin with stuff in the middle of it, basically. But yeah, I mean, more Dunkin' than I would say McDonald's, but I think it came out well. It's nice and crisp, floury, egg looks nicely cooked, almost perfectly in fact, the way that it's folded and the sausage came out beautifully. Yeah, I like the folded, the, um, the folded just, that's cool. Yeah, makes it a lot easier to cook because if you ever cook with just egg, you know that folding it sometimes can be kind of a pain. It's really hard. Yeah, so we, we haven't mastered it yet. But uh, I guess enough talking about food because we do that so much, let's, let's just go ahead and eat it. Which one do you want to start with? The spicy? Let's start with the spicy. Okay. A little sandwich dink. Dink. Mm. 
Mm. It's pretty, pretty flavorful all together. And they definitely got the breakfast sausage flavoring now. Spice, it's light, it's there. But I mean, I'm dead inside. The princess probably knows better than I do. I don't really taste much spice. Yeah, I'm on like a 0.5 out of 10. Yeah, spice. yeah, I would agree. And you can taste there is some spices there, like the flavoring and whatnot. And back of the throat tingles a bit, but I wouldn't really yeah. call it spicy. Agreed. But it is a good, good, nice bite. Very flavorful. Feels like sausage. Consistency is perfect. And I, I honestly think it tastes almost better in some instances than a Beyond Meat burger. I would say. Well, it definitely tastes less spicy than the hot Italian Beyond Sausage. That's for sure. Those are like really hot. Especially if you get them cooking on all the juices. All right, now for this uh, classic, whatever classic's supposed to mean. Pink. Mmm. The classic is more of like a smoky flavor, which comes through a lot better with the egg, I think. I think that's my favorite by far. I actually think that the the hot one is a little more flavorful than the classic. Hmm. Split decision then. But I would give the spicy one with the just egg, because just egg tastes just like just egg normally does, it's just in a yeah. flat form. It's true. I would give the sausage, the spicy sausage, a three and a half out of five plus. I would give the classic a four for me. I think I would do the same rating, but I would flip it. Ah, so. But yeah, this is a nice new product from um, Beyond Meat. We'll definitely be trying this more of their products. It's one thing that we've seen and what's good for like the plant-based market is with all these new companies coming out, and it's not just Impossible and Beyond. There's uh, Veo Life and Light Life and... Uh, lots of brands. Yes, the competition is getting making everybody improve and set their game up. So which is great. We are benefiting, which I have no problem with. It's yeah. It's hard enough to be a princess as it is. But I want to know, have you guys seen the new uh, Justin Beyond products? Have you tried the fold of egg? Have you tried the Beyond breakfast sausage? If so, let us know in the comments. If there's any other plant-based foods that are coming out that you guys think we should try, that's always going to be the place to let us know. Hit the notification bell if you want to see other videos like this. And... We have new videos five days a week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Saturday. And we will see you soon. Be sure to subscribe. You heard the girl. Here is our modified version. With the homemade Just Egg Patty. And if you guys are wondering how we did this, I just took like a little singular like muffin cylinder and greased the pan, put the Just Egg in there. I put a lid on it to keep the heat in and just let it cook until it's uh, not liquid anymore. Just take it off the heat and... Let it cool and there you go. It's not that hard. It took like five minutes. Mmm. I think I just made a mistake. Mmm. -hmm. I just made a big mistake. Mmm. Oh, yes. 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 As we figure out to make these, how to make some of these things at home, Princess becomes addicted. Oh my God, That's yes. That's that face. No, if I actually did mm. have a slice of cheese on it, that would be, yes, that is good. Mm. It is really good. That's definitely an improvement over the, the vegan version. I think with like a slice of pepper jack cheese. Oh, yeah. Or even like a smoked Gouda, which they make in plant-based versions. That would be amazing. I'm gonna give that right there three and a half out of five cloth for the slice of cheese. This stuff is gonna be a solid four or higher. I think piggyback on your gouda thing. Instead of the pepper jack cheese, put the gouda and then some hot sauce. With that, possibly. Oh yes. We are we're just trying out some new vegan products we found. Yeah. That's, that's basically it. No fancy, no parades, no fireworks yet. Princess throwing stuff though, so that's new. It's usually my job, but no, it's really not.